Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video I wanted to show you the new firmware for the TYT MD380 which is called the SAR edition. At least I think that's what it's called. Because of that startup screen. And um, this edition is different to the other ones because it has a new menu. Now if you go into the utilities, you've got the radio settings, radio info and program radio as normal. But then you have MD380 tools menu, which gives you some more options. Um, you can change the Roger beep so that instead of a higher pitched one, it does a lower pitched one. So if I key up on this radio back here, it does that as the end of transmission tone. And if I key up on this one, it does that, which is a high pitched one. But if I change that setting, then it does a slightly different sounding one like this. And on the end of receiving, it does one like this. So it just makes things a bit more interesting for you if you want to change that up. You can change the date format as well between the normal one and a German one. Um, this uses CSV, um, allows you basically using a computer program, you can load up a CSV file, which is comma separated values. And whenever someone transmits, it will show their ID on the screen, but it will also look them up in the CSV file and it will show their name as well if their call sign is in the database so that's quite cool and very useful if you want to see who you're talking to and you don't even have to ask them what their name is so what's next you can turn the debug mode on which uh, I'm not going to go into in this video the promiscuous mode you can turn on or off. I think it's off by default. So if you load up this firmware and you're wondering why you can't hear any old talk group anymore without having to program it into the radio, then you need to turn on this and that will allow you to to, um, to receive any talk group without having to program it in. You can also change your own ID here. So this is just a random one that I put in. Uh, if you want to change it on the radio, you can just do it like that and now if I key up on this radio see that new ID there comes up instead of the old one uh, mic bar graph you can turn on and off and let me show you what that is when you're transmitting it comes up with this graph on the screen here see that so if you're in the green zone there I'm talking a bit louder to try and get it in the green zone um, it means your audio is about right. If you're in going up into the red zone Maybe it'll do it now Hello oh, See it just about went into the red zone there and that means you're talking too loud and you need to back off from the mic a bit and If you're below the green zone, then you need to talk a bit closer to the microphone so it tries to keep your audio good and um, not too quiet or too loud. And then the last feature is experimental and I'll be honest with you guys I don't know what that one does. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you the bits in the new firmware that I did know how they work and just show it to you so you guys know about it and you can try it out yourselves. So that's it for this video, um, I hope you guys found it useful and thanks for watching.